Hello everyone. I have another good news to share regarding the Samsung phones today. Particularly for the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus owners, the phone has got a new update today which brings a number of Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features to it. So before I tell you further, please hit the subscribe button and help me cross 50k subscribers. Also, if you find this video useful, do hit the like button as well. I was playing around with my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus this evening when I got a notification for this new update and the features it listed were quite unexpected so I was surprised. The update brings a number of new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and as you can see on the screen it now gets the all new wireless text feature. You heard that right, you can use your Galaxy S10 Plus as a computer without connecting any wires. I did give it a try and I loved it quite a lot. The deck zone a big TV works as good as the phone works in real. Your phone transforms itself into a trackpad and you are all good to make the best use of the phone. I mean, who needs to carry a laptop all the time now when the wireless decks can make your life this much easy? Of course, you can attach a mouse and a keyboard to take your experience to a whole new level. The wireless decks however has a few requirements with the Samsung Smart TV being the first one. You need a smart TV of 2019 or onwards for this to work. It does work with the Miracast as well. There are some massive Wi-Fi enhancements. The Wi-Fi can now tell you about the quality of the network. Network quality appears underneath the Wi-Fi network's name in your list of available connections. For example, for my connection, it is appearing very fast which changes to fast sometimes. There are some other new features to make the Wi-Fi functionality a whole lot good, especially regarding the Wi-Fi password requests and more. There are some new features for the video pro mode and this also happens to be my most favorite addition in this new update. S10 Plus now gets the custom mic feature. You can tell your phone the direction from which you want to record the sound. Either select Omni, the front or the rear. The Omni will definitely record the sound from all the directions. Front will record from the front and the rear as it suggests will record the sounds from the rear side. The USB and Bluetooth mic options are also there now. There is the new zoom option in the video pro mode too and the other options are there as usual. And yeah, check out those audio bars on the top left side of the screen. These will tell you about your sound frequency. The audio recording can go all the way down to uh, minus 12 decibels and go all the way up to 12 decibels. Seriously guys, how cool is that? I actually like Samsung a whole lot more for giving us Galaxy S10 Plus honors all these new features. When I reviewed the Note 20 Ultra, I talked about its exclusive landscape split keyboard feature. The Note 20 Ultra split uh, keyboard feature uh, splits the keyboard into half when you rotate the screen to the landscape mode and that makes typing a whole lot fun. The same feature has uh, now made its way to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus 2. Just enable this feature from the keyboard settings and you are all set to use it. The keyboard further gets a new search feature with YouTube integration. Bitmoji speakers are now supported in the always on display of the phone. A new feature for SOS calls has been added. The feature allows calling a contact who saved as SOS contact person. Users can also send SOS location sharing messages every 30 minutes for 24 hours now. And that sums up all the new features in the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus's new update. This phone has come a long way and it still has a long way to go especially with Samsung's new update policy. The phone is all set to get it's already got its one major update and it's supposed to get the Android 11 and Android 12 as well. Uh typically it should have only uh ended with Android 11 but thanks to Samsung for improving the software life cycle, the software update life cycle of the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. I am yet to get my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and in the meanwhile the software experience on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is inching closer to that of the Note 20 Ultras. 
if you're carrying an S10 Plus, go ahead and update it right away. Of course, if the update is available in your region, let me know about your thoughts on this new update and make sure to press the subscribe button and the like button as well. With that said, I will sign off and see you all in the next video.